Hello everybody and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's play some more Stellaris Leviathans as the Gulk Furky Star Cartel. So things have been pretty quiet. We've been expanding um, kind of peacefully, I guess. We've got a new some new some new planets and a new sector over here. I'm considering going to war here pretty soon. I think that would be kind of cool. There's a lot of diplomacy and stuff going around. There's a lot of diplomacy going on. Um, I would love to declare war on the Haveriga Union. However, he's got an alliance with this buddy up here. And this guy seems, uh, I guess he's not really that powerful, but the question is, would it, would it be difficult to defeat this guy in a war? Maybe. He's weaker than I am. His fleet power is just about equivalent to me, though. So let, I say we go up to the force limit. Let's go up and get some cruisers, and then we're actually going to go to war. I think we're going to declare war on this guy. I would love to maybe um, make him probably cede this planet to me. Take that over. We do have some troops here. Let's go and get a general. An armchair commander. Leader commands from the rear, preferably as far away from the front lines as possible. Yeah, we want somebody that leads from the front. <clears throat> so we're going to get our fleet together, and we will invade, I think, this guy. I could invite an ally of mine, but I might just try and prefer and take it on my own. Try and take this guy on myself. We some research projects we can do. Not sure why I haven't done any of these yet. No colonizable planets in the in the vicinity that I can see. So I definitely, I think I want to take this planet for sure. We'll rule over that forcefully if we have to. And um, possibly create some sort of buffer state in this area here. I think he's got a frontier outpost somewhere here. There's got to be something over here. <clears throat> so let's get ready for a war. We haven't really gone to war that much at all this, this game. So... I think we're going to focus on um, Corvettes, Cruisers, and Destroyers for now. Construction complete. Let's see here. Rivalry. The crew of the GCS Troom Bath Noor has managed to collect a small group of Odalorans. Interesting. <clears throat> Construction complete. Let's go ahead and get ready for this. I'm trying to double check if there's any important... Join the your back lead, join the favorable lead. There's a federation here? Whoa. Let's check that out. There's a federation. This guy created a federation. Wow. Ask for association status. Sure. We're gonna we're gonna try and go for maybe a maybe a federation victory here. James Whitney, how you doing, man? So we get association status within an empire. We're not officially there yet. Let's go ahead and get ready for, um, let's go and create one more Corvette. And then we'll go down to speed and, and we'll see if we can invade this guy here. I'd love to see that, get that planet seeded to me, increase our borders a little bit, add that to maybe one of the sectors. And then, um, I might create another, like, little buffer state somewhere here. Maybe like here, here. Because this is his capital. Or, or just like humiliate him or something, right? Just get him to, to be humiliated. We'll march into, special let's get the fleet together. Complete. 200 experience from the special project. Nice, nice, nice. All right, we're ready to go. Let's go and go for Rukba. Let's go and get our invasion forces in Rukba. So we will march on um, his capital first. We'll march over here. I'll occupy everything. We have an incredibly powerful fleet. It's supposedly more powerful than his. I guess my technology level is better than his and, and et cetera, et cetera. Let's double check the surface of this world here. I want to make sure we're getting some decent growth. Uh, I want some more food, actually. <clears throat> we need more energy credits. We need more money. Because funding all of this, all these expeditions and such is incredibly expensive. We need power plants. Um, can we get solar panel networks? Fleet Academy. Okay, so let's go ahead and declare war on this buddy. He's got, um, yeah, like I said, he's he's an ally to this this guy over here, but this guy's got an incredibly weak fleet. Declare war. We want to annex. Pair gear and Patrick. No, we're looking for Patrick Gore. Want this planet here. 
Holy crap, 44 war score for just that planet alone. Wow. And then we want to liberate some more worlds or just open borders. Maybe we'll um, we'll have him open borders and we'll humiliate him. 64 war score. I could attack some of my some of my friends. An ally. We could liberate a planet. We could vassalize. No, that's not gonna work. We could make a tributary, that's not gonna work either. Um Tafim, maybe we'll liberate Tafim. How much would that be? That'd be 23 war score. That's quite a bit. I don't want to. I don't want to go that far. We'll open borders, humiliate him, and um, we'll do we'll do sea planet. We'll try and do that. Let's take this war kind of light. Let's go ahead and march our um, our fleet into his capital here. I believe that's where um, most likely that's where his fleet is going to be. That's where I imagine. Uh, wow, we went to war and we actually had some factions spring up here because I guess people are mad that we're going to war. Oh, wow, yeah, look at that. Wow, going in an offensive war actually pisses people off quite a bit. It's typically tonics in an offensive war. That's crazy. That's that's really interesting. Wow, let's see. How, how powerful is this fleet? Let's check it out. We're going to march on in here. Let's go blow some people up. We'll have to watch out for those factions. They're not that large, though. He's got missiles. It looks like his missiles move a lot quicker than I do. Um, I don't have any point defense. At least if I do have point defense, it's probably not not that great. Situation log updated. Can't focus fire or anything, obviously. Actually, no, never mind. We do have point defense. Damn, his, his missiles move really quick. Situation log. Let's make sure we keep an eye out for his fleet. Let's get transports here. We're going to want to clear the airspace. We've taken already um, some damage. Wow. Impressive. Let's go ahead and uh, enter orbit here. Let's go ahead and siege down this world here. This is his capital, so taking that's going to be really good for our war score. Looks like the the war score thing is getting a little cut off here, which is which is weird. That might be a bug. I'm not sure. I know that Paradox tested this patch uh, fairly fairly um, fairly heavily. We get rail guns, strike craft damage, Ripper auto cannons. I'm gonna go for the auto cannons. I think the auto cannons will help us out. Holy crap! Yeah, this is its capital. This this place is ready to go. They have uh, defense armies here. Actually, we have we have 12 invading armies. Myself, um, we might not do very well though. I don't know if we'll win this. He's got, he's got garrisons as well. Let's just keep an eye out for his fleets. He's probably spread out a little bit over the world, or over his realm. It's going to take him just a bit to, to consolidate. I'm going to siege down as much as we can. Construction complete. We're losing a lot of money, but we have incredible financial and material reserves. So, uh, I think we're ready for this invasion. Is that zero? Yeah, zero planetary fortifications. This planet is barely fortified. He's got deflectors and he's got shields. Damage dealt to defending armies will be increased by 100%. Let's go ahead and invade. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully, I can win. We've got 12 invading armies going down. Holy balls. I think we will come out on this on top, though. I think we're going to do just fine. Our armies seem to be winning once these garrisons get, get taken out. We do a little better. Ooh, we just got wormhole generation rate and then wormhole range. Nice. We can do basic combat rolls. We can do saturamine gas. 23 months for this. Not bad. We'll take that. <clears throat> Let's go and check out this invasion. We're going to take probably some casualties here. Maybe not very much, though. Actually, nope. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, it looks like that's the end of it. We're going to occupy this world. We've taken... Yeah, we, we took quite a bit of... Quite a bit of damage there. Okay, so we occupy his capital. Still looking out for his main fleet. We're going to clear out the rest of this system. Okay. We'll just keep an eye out for his fleet here. Uh, wherever they may be. We we have 93% whole strength, so we just got to keep that in mind. And then we're going to let the army uh, rest up here. They're going to replenish. We have some, uh, some garrisons. Situation log update. We occupied this world. It's occupied, therefore not produce anything. Yeah. 14% <clears throat> war score. We're going to want to go for that, for that um, war goal there. 
So, um, let's take a look here. Have, uh, have a re fleet combat. We're just going to clear out this system. Just, just break all these We have the governor that died. Where was this governor? He was in Radothi. Plants and sectors. Radothi prime. Let's see if we can get another governor. Um, I don't think there's any reason why not to get a new one. Leader experience gain. I like this guy. This guy's 37. This guy's really young. So we're gonna go ahead and take that. Next generation of Golkferky governors. Um, what did I want to do? You know, I wanted to change our government. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to get uh, illuminated technocracy. We're gonna get research alternatives and then empire leader capacity. I was thinking about going for the neural network administration for that research speed and the research station cost. Not a bad idea, but I think we'll just stick with what we have right now. We are an oligarchy right now. So we're going to go for eliminated technocracy. It's going to form. <clears throat> we're going to make that. That's our advanced government's uh, government form. Still looking out for their main uh, armed forces. I don't see much. What is this? This is a spaceport here. Wow. 819 military power. Research complete. Our army and our invasion forces are all healed up. We just got social welfare programs. We can do border range. Ooh, manifest destiny. 79 months for the border range. We're going to absolutely take that. That's going to be really useful. Let's go and see. We're going to clear out the rest of this airspace and just kind of hang out for a little while. No enemy ships. I don't see anything. I prefer to destroy his fleet before we move in um, to occupy the war goal. Engaged. Yeah, I don't know what happened to him. Is he at war? Is he at war with like somebody else? No, he's not. That's his ally way up there. His ally is rebuilding. His ally is building up his fleet once again. We'll try and keep an eye on our force limit. <clears throat> if it gets too low, we'll have to build up some more and uh, cease offensive operations. Let's go ahead and... Uh, I think we will embark the army. Let's go ahead and embark, and we will leave. Uh, I won't leave a garrison behind. We're going to go ahead and withdraw from this system here. I'm going to wait. If, if we find his army somewhere, we will obviously attack it, but... I want to go for the war goal. That's my, that's my primary concern at this moment. Um, oh, wow. Looks like we can only get from Briscoe. Hostile fleet engaged. What is this? Okay, there we go. So we're going to take over this system. We already have the transports in, in orbit. We're going to land some armies here. How large is this planet here? Uh, wow, there's absolutely nothing there. We don't even have to siege it down, I don't think. I think we're just going to win, just in general. We're going to siege down the war goal. We will march on some other worlds here, hopefully pretty soon. The Midari Empire. Look at that. That planet was liberated. That's cool. So there's a new independent uh, faction here. That's cool. We can go ahead and invade and we will probably win. Let's try and take as few casualties as possible, but I think we will win one way or another. We're going to go ahead and land some troops here. Occupy the world. These are actually garrisons. There's no defense armies here. It's actually, um, it's it's not a large system by any means, but it'll be fine, I think, for what we're looking for. The Imperial Juran Worlds vassalize the Madari Empire. Wow. Okay. Okay, so we occupy the war goal, and uh, now we're going to engage... Let's go ahead and go up here. Um, I might actually repair the fleet first. I'll consider it. So we successfully invaded the war goal. Still have not found his armed forces. I don't know where they are. Um, this is a transport fleet. Where is my fleet right now? We're moving to this planet here. Research complete. <clears throat> we just got basic combat rolls. We can go for an X-ray laser. We can do research alternatives, survey speed, tachyon lasers, or tachyon sensors, disruptors. We can go for disruptors. Um, our research is kind of slowing down a little bit because we haven't really been expanding that much. 
Let's go ahead and invade. We're going to destroy these spaceports here. We should be okay. They have, uh, let's see, one spaceport here, and they have another spaceport right there. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log. We have unemployment for my pops. Here, this guy. Uh, why don't we go for, yeah, energy credits. We have a serious, Situation serious energy complete. credit deficit. We have a governor that died. Let's go and take a look at that while, um, oh, it's actually here on, on uh, Dura Prime. Okay. Whoopsies. Slave mineral output. Yeah, it's not going to help me. Let's go and go for that guy. He's 32 years old, very young. It's going to work out in our favor. Where the hell is the enemy fleet? We lost one Corvette, so Corvettes are definitely not durable. That seems to be the overarching problem we're experiencing, is that just Corvettes don't don't have a lot of durability. They do help out though, they are really nice and light. They're light screens, right? So we don't have to worry so much. We're gonna blow up this spaceport here. Beautiful graphics, beautiful graphics. And let's go ahead and um, actually embark our armed forces here. We're going to go for this planet. See what we can do there. <clears throat> Situation log updated. I guess he's just going to let me occupy all of his stuff. That's just what he's going to do. He doesn't want to engage me. Situation log updated. Wow, look at that. That science ship is actually exploring something there. All right, our uh, ground troops are moving in to engage. Uh, how much war score do we need again? We need, what, 60, 60 something. Thanks for the war peace offer. Powerful pop factions. Holy crap. Okay, these guys are incredibly mad. We're gonna see if we can spend some, uh, some influence here. Manage factions, grant independence, hell no. I'm not granting anybody independence. We're gonna need to finish up this war, I think, pretty soon, guys. This might become fairly serious here pretty soon. Those torpedoes are going to destroy people. Situation log updated. So we're gonna occupy this world. It's uh, he's got some. He's got actually got some assault armies and defense armies. We uh, will probably have to siege this down all the way to zero. Those fortifications, yeah. Let's go and speed five for just a little bit. It's two twenty-two ninety-four. We we played a long time in this campaign. Holy crap. Let's go ahead and land my armies. Looks like the invasion is going to go successfully. We're going to be just fine. We still have not taken any casualties at all. We've not lost any troops, any regiments. We have 32 war score. That's not great, actually. For, for occupying his capital, the war goal, and then one other extra planet. We only have 32 war score. It's really not that great. I don't know where his fleet is though, so maybe maybe a decisive battle with his fleet would be what what settles this. Uh, I would actually feel that that would probably be the way to go. We have quite a bit, yeah, quite a ways to go here. He saw for length of the war, yeah. So he's definitely busy with something. He's he's somewhere. I don't know where he is. Frontier outpost from suppressed factions. I might be able to get rid of some of these frontier outposts. I have one down here that maybe we could get rid of. We can survey some systems here. Hmm. I don't know. We're losing quite a bit of money, quite a bit of influence here. Could become a problem here for the in the near future. At least we're reducing some of this unrest, so that's nice. It's going to be kind of expensive, but that's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and, and embark this army and enter orbit. We can also land troops here. He's got defense armies. Let's land some troops. I'm going to go ahead and take care of that, squash that. Excellent, excellent. Nice. We have 40 war score. All right. I guess we're just going to have to keep <laughs> keep advancing against him. I just going to have to keep smashing stuff. We occupy so much though already. Wow. I think we have four worlds under occupation, right? 
37 war score 40 space battles two all right well in the meantime guys i'm gonna go ahead and uh, take a take a break here and uh, i will see you guys in the next episode thank you so much for watching please make sure to like subscribe and comment and i'll see you guys soon